Hello everyone, I am Becky and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to make my yellow rice, it's Spanish rice, and it's how I always make it and it's really good and it's easy. It's easy to make, but very, very flavorful. But what I like to use, I get the packages of yellow rice and they already have uh, some seasoning in there. Now we'll add other seasoning, but the yellow rice in the packages makes it a whole lot easier. Plus it's good. I have bacon here that I'm gonna be using. Um, I have, I know this looks like a lot of onion, it is, but I'm also cutting up onion for my chicken enchiladas that I'm gonna be pairing this with. So good. I have these peppers here, and the only reason I have the small peppers are because, um, is because Jacob used up all my big green peppers, because normally I just use a big, pe big peppers, green, red, whatever. I have garlic, and oh, my beans. I like to use a variety of beans because I just like the way it looks and I like the different textures and shapes. So I got some kidney beans, I got black beans and pinto beans. And I also have a can of green chilies that I'm gonna be using. So this is gonna be really good. I'm gonna do it all in my little um, iron skillet. Well, it's not a little iron skillet. It is a huge iron skillet. My mom got that for me a few years ago, so. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Hey, so I cut my bacon up into these little little pieces like that. And this is such good bacon, such good bacon. I get it at our local meat market. Maybe you've heard me say that before. So I'm just gonna put that in my iron skillet. While my bacon's cooking, I'm going to go ahead and chop up my onions and my peppers and all that. My bacon is done. I'm gonna go ahead and get it out of the pan. That's about how I like mine to look. So I, what I do is I leave my bacon grease in there and I'm gonna add just a little bit of butter to that. bacon after I got it all off of there. That look nice. I'm going to add about half of these onions to my pan. Save the other half for my chicken enchiladas. And these onions will pick up all that, see that brown stuff there left by the bacon? These onions will pick all that up. And I only put a very little bit of salt in on these because it, it helps bring out the water and also you don't want to put too much salt because um, there's seasoning in the uh, packages of rice. Okay, so that's just a little bit of brown sugar. I want to add that to my onions. I like to do that. I like to add brown sugar to my onions, depending on what I'm cooking, of course, but it just makes them more flavorful and brings out a little more sweetness. Because these are Vidalias. I like Vidalia onions. I just added the rest of my onions to this pan because I remembered, or I forgot, that I was also I would also need onions for my chicken enchiladas. I don't know why I forgot that. So I cook, whenever I'm making my chicken enchiladas with rice, I always do all my onions together. I don't know why I only put half in here. Cause that way they'll already be sauteed and everything and I won't have to do it all over again. Plus I like to use this pan, so anyway. This is about how I like my onions to look. You know when they start to almost get a little bit, a little bit brown. Ow, ow, ow. So I have canned chilies, green chilies here. I'm just gonna go ahead and put them in there. Juice and all, they don't have to be strained because that juice will just cook off. 
So when you do it like this and everything, when you're making the enchiladas and the rice, you can just do this all together. I'm talking to my camera. So I'll tell you that in there for about a minute. So now I'm just gonna take out the onions that I'm gonna use for my enchiladas. However much I think I need, or half of what's in here. So this is where I go ahead and add my rice. This uh, Vigo yellow rice. And I've also gotten the, it's called Mahatma. I believe that's how you pronounce it, I don't know. But I like to put that in there and just kinda toast it a little bit. You can actually get this at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Now I saw it at Kroger's and it was like two seventeen, and I thought, I ain't paying that much for that. So I walked down to Dollar Tree and got it for a dollar. But they also have it at Walmart and it's it's only like a dollar seven there, so. So I just toasted around it toast or saute it. I just saute it around in there with the onions and it gives it kind of like a nutty flavor. I guess what you want to call it. And so after I do this, I will add some water. This pan is so big, like the middle gets really hot. So, I'm gonna put about two cups, a little over two cups in there. Remember these? All quad. Okay, I did three. Three cups as opposed to four and a half. So I'm gonna bring this to a boil and then I'll cover it with, uh, I don't have a lid big enough, so what I, what I use for this huge pan is aluminum foil. I'll cover it with aluminum foil after it comes to a boil, you know, like you normally do rice, and then turn my burner down. And that's what I'll do. I think there was, I thought there was something. Oh, also, I know I'm not really telling you measurements much or anything, but I will, I will have the ingredients. You don't really need measurements for the rice, because anyway, but like for the chicken enchiladas, I will have the recipe in the description, in the description with the exact measurements. Yeah, I do. I will. Well, it's boiling. Or as the old timers like to say, boiling. It's boiling. So I'm gonna cover it with some aluminum foil. Put my aluminum foil on top of that. Just like that. Turn my, turn my stove down to low. So, in the meantime, I'm going to debone my chicken for my chicken enchiladas. I've had this in the refrigerator. That's why all the, the fat has kind of accumulated at the top. And I'm gonna sh tell you what I did. I had um, two of the I don't know if you go to, whoever goes to Sam's, you know, they have rotisserie chickens. Well, if you go, sometimes when you go there, you can get the next day chickens for, uh, for $3.98. You can get four chicken breasts for $3.98 and they're in a little package. So I like to get those. And what I do is I put them in freezer bags and put them in the freezer. So I had two big chicken breasts. So here's one of them sitting there big. So 
I had some chicken thighs in the freezer and I had my, got my pressure cooker and I put my, fixed my chicken thighs, cooked my chicken thighs in the pressure cooker, which I love the pressure cooker because you can put frozen meat in there. They were frozen. Put them in the pressure cooker, put some seasoning in there with it. Uh, When's this gonna be done? <laughs> like seriously, I'm starving. Like seriously, probably about an hour or so. Come here, Isaac. Come here. Let me finish telling them about the chicken. So I fixed my chicken thighs in the pressure cooker. And now the recipe doesn't say to do this, but this is just how I do it. Cause whenever I, yes, yes, get in there. whenever I'm making something, I don't necessarily follow the recipe, you know, to the T. I will use it as a guide. I like to season my chicken when I cook it. So I put cumin in there, paprika, a little bit of oregano, garlic. That's just what I do. But the recipe in the description, you know, won't say that. Anyway, and something else that you want to keep in mind if you are using a rotisserie chicken is that now the chicken has been see that chicken has been seasoned and you know it's got some salt in it. So you want to be uh, you want to keep that in mind because you don't want your stuff getting all being all salty. Okay, so this is Isaac. Maybe if you've seen some. They like already know me. The camera's not even on my face. Well, you need to scoot, scoot, or uh, squat down. There he is. They, I mean, they may not know you unless they saw another video. This is my oldest boy, Isaac. And he's going back to school Sunday. He plays, he plays football. He's in college. So, got anything to say? Um, this is one of my favorite meals that she makes. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> okay, you can. <laughs> okay, you can go, and then you can come back when we do the the taste test. He's been working today. He's been working all day. What'd you do today? I don't know where to start. I went to the dump and I literally almost puked. Why? Because we had to dump all the stuff that we're tearing out of the house. And it was I, like, my, I have a weak stomach anyway. And just thinking about it, it's kind of. What was in the house? It's a dump yard. Like a, where you dump trash at. Yeah. Oh, I thought you just meant the house. Wow, what'd you see? Trash. I mean, just... I mean, it's not about what you've seen. It was the smell. Like, it's a smell that you will... You can't forget it. Smell that you'll live with for the rest of your life. Like, if you... If I think of that place, I can smell it. If that makes sense. That's how bad the smell was. Okay. Like, I was... Almost on the, I was about to puke. And I was kind of hungry before I went, and I wasn't hungry for about three or four more hours after I left there. He's very dramatic. You would have puked. <laughs> I don't know. I've got a pretty, I don't know, Isaac. Get up tile from a floor. I have a that from the shovel. Oh, you got a boo boo callus. That's not a callus. That's a cut in the palm of my hand. Oh. Poor thing. Then I had to remove a frame to a garage door. I had to take off siding of a house. lifting stuff and uh so anyway where i had blood work done my protein kinase levels are too high your what oh not protein creatine kinase levels oh really yeah 
So she said it's a result. She thinks that I could have been just over training, just overdoing it. So now I can't do anything for a week. And I have to get another blood test when I get down to Georgia. So my chicken has been deboned. Well, yeah, deboned. There wasn't much bone there. The only bone came from the two breasts. Just want to show you what that looked like. Not sure how much that is, but like I said, I hardly ever measure. I'll just add extra whatever I need to it. So, now I'm going to check on my rice. Rice has been covered for about 20 minutes. Those are my beans. See all the different colors and everything. It just makes, just looks pretty. Makes it look better. Plus you get the different flavors, different taste, having the different types of beans. Just more pleasing to the eye, I think. Those are my peppers I'm gonna put in here. And I'm gonna go ahead and add my bacon. I like my, I don't like my peppers to be mushy in my, um, in my rice, which is why I put them in last. And then if I was to saute them, I mean, I could saute them in a different pan, I guess, and then put them in there. But, um, when the peppers cook too long, uh, sometimes you're just left with the skin. So, I don't like that. But, that's just how I do mine. And I will um, cover this up and keep it on low. And the peppers will, uh, I mean, if you want to saute yours, you can saute them or, or put them in there whenever you want. But, but that's just how I do mine. Now, I will be making the filling for my chicken enchiladas. And from here, it goes pretty quick. Pretty simple. Um, like I said, the the recipe will be in the description. This no, my, this is cream cheese. So I'm gonna add cream cheese to it. Just help whatever I think I need. So I have softened up the cream cheese. That's much better. Be a whole lot easier to stir. It's supposed to be softened anyway. And right now I have 12 ounces in here for my amount that I'm using. And if I need more, I'll just add it. I think this will be enough though. So to this mixture, I'm gonna add my onions, my sauteed onions and green chilies. Oh, I forgot to mention this. Also, this is optional. But if you want, you can toast some pecans. <clears throat> Whenever you saute your onions and green onions, you can toast, you can throw, I think it calls for, anyway, it doesn't matter what it calls for because I would have had to use more of it. Like two tablespoons of pecans, mint, like chopped up real fine. And you can put that in with your um, onion and green chili mixture. And it's good. If you like pecans, you'll really like it. But I, haven't been doing it because the kids they said they didn't like pecans but you don't hardly even know they're in there really but uh but the, even though they do give it a nice little give it a nice little bite and you can toast the pecans and sprinkle them on top which is also what the recipe calls for but anyway for this batch i won't be doing that so I'm gonna add a little bit of cumin. And just a little bit of this total seasoning because I think it needs a little bit of salt. So I'm gonna taste this and see. Needs more cumin.
You got somewhere to be? I'm just starving, Mom. <laughs> well, listen, after I do, I have to put on the tortilla. I have, and I have to tortilla. bake them. So, um, I can only go so fast. Put a little bit of cayenne in there. Put put some more in there. I mean, I'm gonna be eating this. Okay. So now I'm going. To, I'm making the sauce that goes over top of the chicken enchiladas. It's um. You want to use cream, a can of cream soup. Like I said, I'm making a bunch, so it calls for cream of chicken soup, but I don't care for cream of chicken soup. I just don't like it. I don't like those little pieces of chicken or whatever they are, and plus it's that old me mechanically separated chicken and just like the regular cream of chicken soup. So I have cream of mushroom. It does fine. I like cream of celery also. But I like to make a lot of sauce because I like putting the sauce on top of my rice, too. You don't even have any. Okay, what am I supposed to do? I mean, I think you should have checked. Well, we usually make hot sauce. It's ridiculous. Sour cream. However many cans of cream soup that I use, I will add an equal parts milk. And it calls for cumin and green chilies. And you just whisk that. Let's go on that together. It's really a sim very simple what, recipe. What I put the oven on? 350. As I was saying, it's it's actually a very simple recipe. Very good. There was no sugar. A little bit of cayenne pepper I'm putting in there. spray my pan. First thing I'm going to do though is I'm going to get a cup of this sauce and put it in the bottom of, bottom of my pan. And you need to do that because if you don't, your uh, ench enchiladas will be hard on the bottom. Okay, and then you just start, take a spoonful of the mixture Put it in your tortilla. And wrap it up. Just like that. Put it in there, whatever you call that, down on that side so that it won't open up. That's all it is. So, Alrighty, so here are my pans. I always make a bunch, so I always have two pans of them. Uh, I put the remaining sauce on top of the 
enchiladas. And so what I do now is I will cover them with foil and uh, heat them in a preheated oven at 350 uh, for about a half hour or so. And then at that time, then you, you put the cheese on top later, so. I have a couple different kinds here, some quesadilla cheese and a triple cheddar. Just gonna sprinkle that on top. And they are done. Cheese is melted, it's bubbling. Ready to take out the oven. Look at that. Big old pan of chicken enchiladas. Come a little closer, Isaac. Usually I just start out with a half a one, but you know, I want it to look, I wanted you to get the full effect. Jacob, turn that off. Okay. Put some rice on there. Is this one mine? No, this one's mine. Or it can be yours. I can get me. Okay. Yeah, this can be yours because I'm probably just going to eat a half one. I like to put a little bit of the sauce on the. Uh... Okay, that's. Anyway, just like that. And that is the plate of chicken enchiladas and rice. So I will, up here, I will make one for me and then Isaac and I will do a taste test. Okay, so, so here we are, okay. me and Isaac, and he has his hood on because he needs a haircut, so he's in the house with the hood on. But we're going, to, oh, whoa, whoa, put your plate up here. Put your plate up here where it can be seen. So we're gonna taste, it's a little hot. Let's take a bite of the enchiladas first, Isaac. What? We're supposed to do it at the same time. We will eat off these for the next few days. And they're even better the next day. It's one of those kind of dishes. Well, what do you think, Isaac? How do they taste? That's it. That's great. Amazing. Couldn't be better. Yeah. Well, that's my video. <laughs> Don't forget to like, if you like, and don't forget to subscribe. Always forget to say that, always. You'd think after I've done like 40 videos, you'd think I'd remember. But anyway, we'll have to get a t-shirt or something. So, t-shirt. So, until next time, see you in my next video. Say bye, Isaac. <laughs>